All right, so Dave, we're going to look at the offside. The logic I'm using, Dave, is I caught a puck in Atlanta years mm -hmm. ago where I caught the puck and it was over the goal line. Right. And because it was over the goal line, it counted as a goal because right. there was a vertical line right. in the NHL net that goes all the way to the uh, crossbar. And I see the blue line right now. And so this that is, represents the vertical line. It's got to be the vertical the ceiling, line right? here that goes right to the ceiling of Madison Square Garden. You can see the skate. Okay, he's offside because this doesn't exist right now. If it does exist, which it will exist in the future, Grabner's onside. But right now, because that right skate is off the blue line, off, off the, the ice, so it's an offside. So forgive me for being a little bit simple here. If that skate is on the ice, he's deemed to be onside, right? If, yep. that, if that skate is here, he's deemed to be onside. And because it's in the air, it's offside. Correct. So forgive me for being stupid or simple. That's a stupid rule. <laughs> Change mean, it. Just well, put, that's, that's why it should play. be the first thing that Gary does tomorrow. I don't think it's a difficult answer. Really? It's logic, really. It's the same way that we have the goal line in the net.